Alright, so uh, we are doing a uh, tubeless setup version 2. And last time we did this, we blew the, uh, the uh, Presta valve out because we did not reinforce this properly. I just uh, uh, put a vulcanizing patch over this and it, it just came off. So, uh, next step, hopefully this would work, is to put a, uh, this lock nut, press the, well, I don't know, press the nut over there, and then put some uh, gasket maker around this part. Wait for it to dry a little, then it will uh, hopefully, supposedly seal this part to this part. That's just step one. Right, so the gasket should look like this. And uh, while we're waiting for that to dry out, so there's two parts all around. While we're waiting for that to dry out, we will cut out uh, some inner tubes that would, for example, that would fit here. So again, from this part, like this, you have the gasket, the screw, and then the rubber or the inner tube. So these are the rubber cutouts or the inner tube cutouts that's supposed to fit there like that. And I made two, one for each valve and we will uh, bond them together using your regular rubber cement. So this is it, our uh, uh, about to be bonded inner tube patches of course together together and uh, we've already uh, closed out the the uh, valve part so the screw should be in place then uh, well all of these is being dried out we'll uh, put some duct tape on on the rims. Okay, so we have removed the rim tape from this uh, MT15 Shimano right there. MT15 Shimano. Remove the rim tape and we'll be using this uh, cheap uh, duct tape made in the Philippines. Alright. So, uh, measuring, I've measured the, uh, the width of the rim to the tape. So I'll be using about half of the width of the tape to be placed inside the rim. All right, so here, here's how you start. Um, we just put a small patch of uh, the rim tape. Uh, you have to very, very carefully put your tape in. Uh, half inch at a time. Why? Because you have to be careful not to have bubbles in there. Uh, when bubbles, uh, when, when you can see bubbles, of course, particles of the sealant will come inside those. And uh, just like asphalt on the road, uh, if you do not put it in properly, then you get a poor seal. Just like that. Okay. Alright, so just go around two, three times with your duct tape and uh, we'll find out if it works version 2 alright so after the taping uh, after the duct tape as you can see right there on the back duct tape uh, around the rim I added uh, two rolls uh, I mean you have two rolls of two rounds of electric tape just for the space but for the ceiling part as you can see with the duct tape that's hopefully sealed enough two rolls I mean two rounds of duct tape all right so the uh, rubber batches have been uh, bonded together we'll, uh, we'll trim this out so next mission is to put a small hole here and force this guy in that small hole all right so starting with that we'll try to thread this all the way all right, there we go, almost done. All right, so thread it all the way through and it should look like this. Oops. 
this should be enough to seal the air on the uh, inlet hole of the rim and be strong enough so when I put the screw in here it will not be pulled out just like the first one famous last words <laughs> alright so I trimmed it a little so it would fit inside inside and what we'll do next is to uh, put a hole on our tape right there uh, again note uh, just a small hole and let the rest do its magic right, so what I did was just mark it and use this part of the presto valve to put the hole alright so now the our ghetto valve is in uh, that right there looks promising and strong. See, uh, I can't even pull it out. So, so for the tire, we'll be using a Rapid Rob, <laughs> uh, borderline usable Rapid Rob. I got for free when I bought the wheel set. Oh, there we go. So this is size 2.0. Uh, is this right? 2.1. Oh my gosh, it's like 10% uh, thread life. <laughs> Golly, well, I got it for free. Beggars can't be choosers. Well, I stand corrected. That's a Rocket Ron with uh, some spider webs inside. <laughs> and it's uh, 2.1. 2.1 2 2.10 so yes for our sealant we're using a uh, local RZ auto tire seal I bought this from a local motorcycle shop for 130 pesos per bottle it's 500 ml so I still have about I don't know to 150 ml left all right so same process goes uh, leave just a few inches of oh, tire outside the rim I placed the sealant just right over there over there As you can see there's still some sealant on the rim there it is and uh, uh, spread the sealant somewhere else and then oh let's put this back on and start pumping! So what I'm doing right now while it's flat, uh, I'm rolling it just very lightly. So uh, what I'm hoping to do here is to put some sealant on the lip of the rim. I mean the bead of the rim and on the edge of the tire or the lip of the tire, whatever. So when I pump it later, hopefully, hopefully, we'll have enough sealant on the side of the rim to make a seal. All right, fingers crossed. Just forgot. Let's put this uh, nut in so we can pump and find out. Right. Okay, so uh, I've spent the majority of the last five days trying to inflate the front wheel. And unfortunately, we were not able to get any seal uh, used the uh, pump, uh, the track pump. Uh, the gas station pump and even a vulcanizing shop pump compressor Still won't uh, it still, still was not able to get a seal or any uh, sort of pop so moved over to the rear wheel uh, Used the same process three rounds of duct tape three rounds of uh, electric tape with the uh, reinforced valve we were able to get somewhere uh, get a good seal and of course or uh, the sealer and uh, unfortunately for our front tire or front wheel set it's still deflated retry 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 person two